Welcome to Busted Speakers. I'm Kush. And I'm Alex. And today we're here with Lee from Lee Likes Music. Hey guys. And today's going to be an interesting discussion. So Alex came up with this idea that what if one day you just were unable to hear music anymore? Um, yeah. I don't know. That, that's a really interesting concept to think about because like, I, first I had to clarify whether it meant he could, you could never hear music So, because then, then you wouldn't be missing much if you could never hear music to begin with. That's true. But, um, do you want me to explain it a bit? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. sure. So this is from a dedicated music fan like us who music is their main hobby. Because anyone who's like tone deaf or something, it wouldn't matter too much if they don't listen to music anyway. But someone like us, a music fan, music nerd, whatever wakes up one day and whenever they try and play a song it's blocked from their brain their brain can't process it it's it's not playing and uh, whenever they're out in public or in a cafe or a shop or something they can't hear any songs they can't hear the radio they can't hear songs in movies i guess uh live performances you don't want to hear as well that's true but largely (laughs) yeah we we will want to hear just go on and think I think even live performances, just so no chance of music, somehow that would be blocked out too. So music is completely gone. What would our lives be like? So, Kush, do you want to start? Well, yeah, so for me, I find a lot of motivation through music. Like when I'm studying, I'm always listening to something. When I'm running, when I'm working out, when I'm just walking from class to class, I'm always listening to something. Like I go through like two or three albums a day and... It's just it's like a really good pastime as well as like something to supplement myself when I'm when I'm like trying to do other things. I honestly don't know what I would do because I would have to find something else to fill in that space, maybe like podcast or like somewhat something like along those lines. But yeah, that's true. I I just never found the same enjoyment from podcasts as I do as music because music I don't know I think music is just so versatile, so many different things you can do with it. Um, it'd be a really interesting thing to to hear because I'm there's music everywhere. Like when I'm working, there's music. Uh, when I'm in the dining hall, there's music. I go to concerts. They'd, that'd be just a no. They can't do that anymore. So like, I think <laughs> it'd be a lot of emptiness. There'd just be a lot of empty dead space, at least, where there should be music and there really isn't. Yeah, uh, Lee. Um, like I was listening to Kush, and you you talked about it in such a, um, how can I put it, in such a casual way that I almost just imagine you as this cartoon character going around and like "Eh, okay music is gone it's gonna be sad it's gonna be hurtful but you know i'm gonna get over it i I know that is not exactly what you said but it just sounded like it's not a big deal i mean for me i think oh jesus where do we start um i mean if music was not existent anymore i mean i would lose like the connection that I have with friends, it would, it would just, yeah, affect my, my friendships in a big way. It would affect my, my perception of culture. It would, um, yeah, just get fucking depressed and anxious just talking about it. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, but still I think, and, and I think that this is the reason why I fantasize about Kush. Oh man, Kush. Uh, <laughs> the, sorry <laughs> the reason why i fantasize about him just being casual is because i think that you know it would be severely hurtful for me in the start maybe for the few first years but i think i would learn like anyone with a big disability i would, I would learn to cope with it and just get over it because i have all their passions like I was really surprised right now to learn that Kush is actually running. So, and that is something that I really love as well. So that's kind of creepy that we are so similar. But, but anyways, uh, <laughs> no, it's it's not creepy. It's it's fun. But yeah, yeah, I think I would just go on to something else at least after maybe maybe a year or something like that. Okay, for me, it's uh, pretty interesting. No. Uh, I actually have quite a lot other than music. Like I play currently playing the Nintendo Switch quite a, a bit, which is fun. Uh, I'm watching way too much YouTube for someone who's in a who's a music fan like me, and I'm watching like a lot of TV as well. So I'm not actually listening to music consciously during my free time as much as I'd love to. For some reason, 
I don't know. So I definitely fall back on those. But here's the thing: I I deny the fact that music is gone. I'd like pretend it isn't real. Like um, I can't believe that mean? music is gone. Like. It, it can't be. Music is still here. It can't be gone. That's what I'll be thinking for months and months. Like, I'll be just uh, natural. Okay, let, let me natural. let me try to let me try to specify. Yeah, just go on. Well, I'll I'll have like um, natural tendencies to go on iTunes and click a song, and my my body won't adjust to the fact that music is gone for ages, years. Like my brain won't be able to function. <laughs> I'll break down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. No, man. I will. <laughs> no, it's it's true. But, but um, I just I think I'll like listen to album reviews a lot more to like get an idea of what music is like. Like mm. I'll listen to. Well, first of all, this channel would be dead if we none of us could listen to music, basically. <laughs> but but I, I I just wonder like where where is the edge? Where's the um, where's the fine line between? Say for example, you're watching a music review. And you know that some some people yeah. who review music, especially on YouTube, uh, if they're a bit out, out of their head, if they're actually um, a bit expressive, some some people start to sing just to try to explain better what they feel and think about the music. So if someone starts to sing a song in a review, will that be like filtered through your mind and you won't be able to hear it, or or where's the line? Yes. I yes. Guess that is no. My <laughs> No, 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 no chance trace. of hearing. No trace. That's right. The only trace actually could be like you listen next to a speaker and you could feel like the, the rumble of the speaker, the vibration. That yeah. could, but that's like how deaf people can sense music. So, I guess that's it. Yeah, but, that, um, that would be such a great idea for like an entrepreneur or something, creating music for deaf people. Only the difference is that it's just like a, it's a, it's. Yeah, how can I put it? Like a symphony of, of vibrations? Damn, that would be so great. That would be so great. That would be so great. I got to do that sometime. <laughs> yeah. I, I, for me, I, I think if I like, music has helped me through like a lot of like tough portions of my life. And just like, and just, it's like, it's like the one thing that's always been reliable. Like, there's, there's always going to be music. Like, you can't always rely on people as much, but there's always going to be music for me at least. And I think uh, I'm really expressive through my music. So, like, I listen to very various different genres, tons of different types of music. Uh, literally, and I think it's become so ingrained into a part of my life. So I don't, I think uh, where you misinterpreted me was that I would get over it. And I, I honestly don't think I would because it's just, like, it's become such a natural part of my life. Like, every day I listen to music, I put something on, regardless of what what is going on, what I'm feeling. So I think it's... It really just depends on the situation, cause like, I feel like I would have to find something to substitute what music does for me, like through like either podcast or videos or other other means. But I think it, I I don't think I feel like the same emotional attachment as I do, cause music was such an important part of my upbringing. I think, okay, um, yeah, that's true, Kush. Yeah. Can I just say a thing here? Um, so I think it was Mozart who was. He at the end of his life he got he became deaf I think, in Beethoven. Beethoven, yeah, and yeah. he was he was still producing like his last symphony I guess despite of that. So so maybe if you listen to music long enough like he did, maybe it will just stay ingrained in your mind just like you said, Kush. So at the end of the day you will still have music to a certain extent. You, you will have it in your memory and you can replay it in your mind, but maybe mm, yeah. it will. Maybe it will turn into like a blur of, of, I don't know, what do you imagine music to be like? And suddenly, if you if you could actually look into the, into the brain of, of someone who's been deaf for a while, but who's been deaf partially throughout their lives, you can actually, I mean, if if you can, oh man, this is such a deep topic. I have a hard time explaining it. <laughs> but if if you could That's, actually yeah. do like an X-ray footage. Or you could draw out and actually amplify the thoughts of a person who has been deaf for 10 years, but has been listening to music for 20 years before that. If you could actually turn that into music, how would it sound like? Damn, that would be so weird. Maybe like the Caretaker album? <laughs> huh? The Caretaker, you know him, the musician yeah. who's like... He, he's really weird. He's like a musician who... 
samples like old dance band jazz, but does it through the filter of someone with dementia, where they're like trying to remember music from their past, and but it's like what? getting so forgotten. That's actually a thing. Damn. Well, this guy's trying it, the caretaker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I think it sounds a bit like that. Um, can I just go through like a few minutes scenario with you guys to? To, yeah, sure. to test this out a bit more so i thought we could like go through our day and where we encounter music through the day like how that would affect how we react to the world okay so yeah you want to start um so i wake up i listen to music on shuffle on the way to work i'd probably sleep but honestly i much prefer to have music in my ears so already and also, that also makes me ready for the day, listening to music on the way to work. So, without that, I'm probably going to be less focused, less ready, just less happy. So, And then, my work is quite uh, stress-free, but quite repetitive. So, um, the music in the background, even if it's top 40, not-so-good radio, um, it still helps to have that in the background. Uh, the weird thing is we'll still hear the radio host and the adverts, I guess. Some of them that don't have music, but honestly, that would be torturous without that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Without music, my day would drag on for hours and hours longer than they actually are. So that would be really bad too. Um, uh, I think, I other think than the, that... I think yeah. the first week, if I had listened to radio shows, I would just laugh because it's like, you're listening to KBL and... This is the new record by Beck. It's coming up right now. And then it's like silence. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> such true, such yeah. an anti-climax. And I would just no, be like, then, yeah, this is... You know what else? Oh, you know what not, else is going to happen? Not what I expected, but... But yeah, go on. You know on, what else go is going to happen? There's going to be a dead silence for about four minutes, and then this is Radio Alex. Dum-dum-dum. <laughs> and then it's going into another song. Another whole song for silence for four minutes. You'll just hear that for a few seconds in between gaps of silence. So, yeah. And then, I mean, then I'd listen to music at the end of the day. That would probably be the easiest part to f filter out but uh, by doing other stuff. But, man, I'd miss music so much. My life yeah, would be empty. You. There'd be little point to live. Mm. I'm not saying I'd have suicidal thoughts, but my life would overall be much more less happy uh less um productive i guess because even though i'm not really productive i do do things while i'm listening to music i feel like i'm a bit more active even when i'm relaxing i i just my life would be empty it would be a dull void it would be it would be a empty shell of what it used to be yeah for me like i i wake up in the morning i when i'm going to class i'm, I'm listening to music so like that is okay, because I can go go to class without listening to music. Like, I, it does help me, like, just kind of uh, wake myself up and get productive. But, like, that's not the big problem for me. I think it'd come when I, like, when I run, because I'm an active runner. I think I'd be bored out of my mind. Um, yeah. Just running for miles without listening to music. And then it comes, like, I listen to a lot of instrumental music when I'm studying. So then I have the problem, like, it helps me concentrate, so then I have the problem, like, having concentration issues because I need to listen to something while I'm studying because it does help me focus on what I'm doing. Uh, but then later at night when I have free time, I normally listen to a couple albums while doing other stuff or, like, re like browsing the internet while listening to a few other albums. So, like, I can probably fill in that space with videos and stuff, but I, I much prefer music just because of, like, how much I, I love listening to music. And I feel like... I would find the substitute substitutes to music, but it wouldn't be the same feeling as I do when I listen to a full album or a couple of different songs or whatever. Yeah. All right. So, um, I think, well, the first time during the day that I would approach a problem with this is during the morning because um, I usually, uh, I use I usually start my morning by. Yeah, eat, eating breakfast. Maybe I put on um, something that I'm listening to at the moment, or at least later in the day as well. When I'm walking to work, I usually put on music because I'm I have to work for uh, almost an hour, so that would be really pain in the ass if I didn't have any music. Um, 
and yeah i get to work and uh there's a lot of music where i'm working so there would be like complete silence there as well um that would probably drive me mad at least the first few times um and then jogging as well i i actually listen to music when i'm jogging nowadays i didn't i didn't used to do that before um uh, I, I don't know why i don't just get easily bored like you and and that's no offense to you um kush but i just i can jog without listening listening to music nowadays i'm reviewing stuff on my own channel so it's kind of hard not to listen to music because i i just have to i really want to push myself into new stuff and just be productive with it um and yeah i've basically centered a lot of my lifestyle just around creating videos about music um uh, just like you do so i think my life at the end of the day just like you said or just like you both said it would be like very empty it would be meaningless to begin with um late at night as well i listen to music so it's my relationship to music is is more or less like the relationship that i have with food you know it's uh <laughs> it's something that i i don't need it every single day but or of course you need food every single day so probably bad comparison there but basically what i'm trying yeah. to say is i listen to music 5 or 6 times per day so it's very interconnected into my life i'm hardwired to listen to music when i come home at night for example i love to put on a vinyl i don't know if you guys collect any vinyls but i do so i usually put on vinyl lately i've been listening to some some miles davis some jazz stuff oh, yeah. and i've, I've pretty good stuff that yeah yeah love that it just gets me in the mood of i don't know i i just get a little bit more tired by listening to it in in a good way that is so it gets me ready to sleep and yeah that's about it so that's my day It'd be completely yeah. ruined but as i told you earlier it it would be a period of my life where i would convert into doing something else and i could cope with it and i could actually live a pretty good life without music at the end of the day i think so yeah yeah but you'd have to change your channel from lee likes music to like lee likes life or something or lee <laughs> used to like music <laughs> lee, lee hates life at the moment as like one month in and then another month or two months later it's like <laughs> lee copes with life and then continuously <laughs> continuously onward like that yeah so just to finish my thoughts i think i'd become a movie fan tv fan much more um just in leisure time i'd definitely start streaming on net i'd start watching uh, more youtube even more than i am now more video games basically so it'd basically be an expansion of stuff i do to a lesser extent at the moment and also i'd probably get into like anime and other stuff just to <laughs> f just just to try and fill the void of <laughs> the only thing that <laughs> i can imagine is this is this i don't know no offense at all but i can just imagine this like chubby dude eating potato <laughs> chips like instantly oh, i can't stop doing it and then you start watching hentai or something like that i don't know getting to uh, the bottom well well if my life becomes <laughs> such an empty shell who knows what will happen but yeah um, hopefully it doesn't yeah definitely um so yeah i think i'd eventually like i'm talking five ten years get used to it but i'd always always miss music i'd always here's the thing though you could still be like a dj of music you knew before like i guess so you could still be in some could musical you, context you wouldn't know when the song ends and stuff like that if you look at the time on itunes oh, okay. if well, you yeah, it on but... <laughs> but yeah an actual vinyl dj wouldn't really so yeah uh yeah so i guess life i could say for all of us life would be much worse overall i think so Okay, so any ideas for the next topic? Or maybe we should uh, not brainstorm in this session? <laughs> yeah. Like uh, any... Yeah, we'll uh, talk after. To yeah, sure. Well, if that's it, then uh, thanks for tuning in Bus Speakers. We hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, 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 Make oh, sure oh, like oh, oh. By the way, oh. guys, if you have any suggestions on suggestions on what we should talk about in the next episode, make sure to leave it in the comments below, okay? That would be awesome. a great idea. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well, hopefully we get some good discussion points now.
Yeah. Uh, well, if that's it, then uh, thanks for tuning in to Bus Speakers. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about this topic in the comments below. And check us out on social media. And check out Lee Likes Music. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs>